All right, guys. So we got the heart, the new heart, 40 volt brushless handheld blower. All right, sporting some pretty um, hefty numbers here, 550 CFM and 125 miles per hour. Now this is the kit. Comes with the four amp hour battery and the charger. Now Hart's 40 volt platform is gonna be available with a 2.5 amp hour battery, a four, which comes with this um, blower here, and a five, all right? So very similar to Ryobi's 40 volt, all right? Um, let's open her up and we'll continue to talk about her. All right, guys, so we got everything out of the box and put together. You saw a very simple slide the tube on to you notch it. And there's a little spot right here. Turn the tube until it locks into this notch right here. And you're ready to go. Um, the 40-volt charger is very much like their 20-volt um, charger, right? It's one of these, you know, not wall-mountable, very small chargers. You see a lot of companies moving over to these type of chargers for some reason not sure why but it is small it is compact so if you do want to throw it in your pocket you know it'll fit and if you want to charge your battery somewhere else real easy all right it says on here this is an 80 watt charger so doing simple math 40 divided by 80 that makes it a two amp charger so not the quickest charger and also this is not like the Ryobi charger where it's a power inverter, all right, where you can kind of charge your phone with the battery. But hopefully as this platform expands, they will come out with a faster, quicker charge. The battery, very nice. Almost exactly like their 20 volt, all right? Obviously just much bigger, all right? But remember, this is a 72 watt hour battery. This is a 144 watt hour battery. So double makes total sense, right? Four amp hours, four amp hours. All right. But this is a 40 volt. This is a 20 volt or technically an 18 volt and a 36 volt. Double the size, right? 18 times two is 36 and 72 times two is 144. All right, but this is why you see why I like these 18 volt OPE tools. Look at the size difference. So imagine having a string trimmer with this powering your string trimmer or something like this. All right, now obviously some tools, you know, you're gonna need this extra power. Milwaukee has really nailed it with a lot of their, you know, handheld string trimmer, blowers, uh, chainsaws, but you know, a lot of these other companies need to go to bigger voltages. All right, so we're going to charge this up and we're going to see what this baby can do. We'll talk about it more as we use it, but I like it. Very light. All right, now obviously it's going to have a, a little bit bigger battery on it, but super light. Um, you know, they do a great job with these tools, Hart. I just like the way that they design them. Um, but very very nicely and you got a little wall mountable um hook here all right you can hang this on the wall if you want this comes off so easily so to break this down all you're doing is basically just turning this tube and it's coming off so if you want to store it somewhere you know 
can kind of store it like this and hang this up, you know, this way are real simple. In, turn. All right, so really nice, but let's see in action. All right, so actually going over the tool itself, um, take a quick look at the battery. Um, got the nice heart logo um, on the bottom of it. No over molds, but as you know, not too many companies doing the over molds. Um, you know, uh, I don't want to say it's small because it's not a small 40 volt battery, but it is very light. All right, um, you got four bars. All right, we got a full uh, battery here, fully charged, but you got four little indicators here, which is good. You know, four is obviously better than three. Um, but a couple companies have now gone to five, which is really awesome. Like Bosch, which is great. But, you know, very similar to the Ryobi battery. Um, except some different colors, all right? Um, and this is the HLBP02. This is their four amp hour battery, 144 watt hours. All right, now going over the actual blower, you saw me put the tube on five seconds easy to come easy to put on easy to take off super simple the one thing that i don't like all right and it really should have this so heart really um if they come out with a gen 2 version because really all of today's blowers kind of have this it does not have a trigger lock all right so you constantly have to have the trigger now it is a variable speed trigger but you have to always have it engaged with your hand, your fingers, or it won't run, okay? A lot of these new blowers are not even, you know, they've had these trigger locks for three, four, five years. Um, you kind of just have this little lever where it will kind of control your, your trigger. It'll stop it, you know, halfway, maybe three quarters of the way, right? Um, most of the newer blowers do have that. I was surprised to see that this did not have a trigger or a cruise control feature. All right. Um, besides that, guys, I mean, it's light. The runtime is absolutely amazing. Now, you're going to see it in action after this. But obviously, you can tell I've used it. Um, I don't know how it's going to come out on here, if you can even see. But I've used it um, quite a bit. And um, the runtime is really, really shocking with a four amp hour battery. So, and the best thing, and I'm gonna, we'll talk about the other feature that it's awesome that it has it. And I always used to talk about ah the boost button or the turbo button. I remember when Ego had their turbo buttons on, you know, their Gen One, Two, Three, and Four blowers, and I was like ah just come on, give me full throttle cfm miles per hour without having to hit a button then they came out with one and i kind of missed it non turbo mode very quiet too Again, non-turbo mode. Yeah. 
turbo mode.
All right, guys, so um, definitely lighter than the Ryobi version. Now, the one thing I want to say about that, that's because um, they both have four amp hour batteries that come with it, but this definitely seems lighter than Ryobi's version. Um, the only thing I do not like is you cannot, you got to keep the power boost button pressed down with your thumb. All right, you just can't click it and then let go. All right, and the problem with that is that this is not unlike a lot of other blowers where you just press it in when you want the boost, but it's very sensitive as it's not sensitive. So you really got to kind of press down hard to kind of get that power boost. It's something, you know, obviously you'll get used to. And as I was using it, I kind of knew exactly where to press it. Um, but besides that, I mean, this thing is a, for how light it is, I don't know if you're going to find a more powerful uh, blower out there. And that's with a four amp hour. So, you know, if you're just using, doing grass clippings in your driveway, you know, I'm doing leaves here. I'm trying to push this thing as far as it can go. Um, but it's not really made for leaves. But you have a 2.5 amp hour battery just for, you know, like I said, after you're done cutting, after you're done string trimming, after you're done edging. This thing can be even lighter <laughs> than it is with a 4. All right. And I've been using it for at least five minutes on its power boost. And I still got two bars left. All right. So, and what I like about it too, and that's actually the main point I want to make is even when it's not on the power boost, it's pretty powerful. You know, that's the problem with a lot of these blowers that have the power boost. You're always using the power boost because it's just so much more powerful. And when you're not using it, you're not really getting the CFM you want. But when this isn't pressed in the power boost, I mean, I'm still pushing leaves pretty easily. And these are wet leaves here. And look how far I am and still really moving them pretty good. So I like it guys. I really do like it. Um, not really unlike a lot of the hard stuff so far that, I, you know, I think there's a lot of value in it. If you like Ryobi stuff, remember TTI owns heart. I'm not saying that it's going to be made better than the Ryobi stuff, but the big difference, especially with their 18 volt or their 20 volt stuff is the slide on pack. I like it much better than the post. Um, but besides some little tweaks, you know, they're identical to the Ryobi stuff, but I like this blower a lot better than Ryobi's version. But, <sighs> yeah, like it. All right, any comments, questions, we'll catch you. Flip.